Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share today's card with you. I have taken part in the Homer's Where the Heart Is Challenge by Tammy Stark and Lorne Fawn. When I first saw this challenge, I thought it was really cute and everyone's cards were amazing. And I thought, do I even live somewhere exciting enough <laughs> to join in on this challenge? And when I thought about all of my favorite places in Queensland, I realized that yes, there is more than enough to add to a card and make something really cute. So here is what I did. Taking a lot of inspiration from one of my crafty friends, Ashley Young, I'll make sure I link the video that I'm referring to down below. She made an amazing ocean for one of her recent cards that was part of a hop that I was also in on and I just loved the way she did the ocean. So I pretty much recreated that with the colours that I have. So as you can see I've blended my blue inks and then I tried to use some of the white distress ink to splatter over the top and all it did was sink in. It really didn't work at all so I had to use some poster paint for that and as you can see that worked much better. Fun fact, Queensland has over 7,000 kilometres worth of coastline so I absolutely had to involve the water somewhere in this card. Moving on to the mountains because Queensland has a wide variety of terrain. So up on the Sunshine Coast there are these glasshouse mountains and they are so bizarre because the landscape is just so flat and out of nowhere. These, I think it's like 11 mountains, just pop out of nowhere. Like everything around them is flat and then there's just giant rocks. They are amazing to look at and I highly recommend that you look them up and look up the Aboriginal stories that go with them because they're amazing. I remember learning about them in school and then revisiting that when we were on the drive to Australia Zoo for our son's third birthday. As you can see here, I'm using a cut file. This was designed by my friend Peter from Peter's Treasury. I will ensure I leave a link to his blog post where you can get that cut file for free. It makes amazing backgrounds for lots of things with mountains, obviously, but I really felt like their jagged edges and the different shapes were just perfect to represent the Glasshouse Mountains on this card. Here I am just using my Distress inks to give them some colour. I really felt like purples and greys were going to work against the other colours of the background that I used for this card. It really broke up the ocean and the other part that I haven't shown you yet. And I just really love blending with these colours. I feel like they turned out really nice. And like with most of my ink work, I'm just adding some flecks of different colours just to give it a bit of texture and to bring all those colours together. It's also really good for hiding some uneven blending if you find that's ever a problem when you're crafting. I kept the piece of cardstock that I had cut the waves from at the beginning because I had already measured that out to be the perfect size for my card front. So all I needed to do with this was put my three pieces together and here I am just working out how much of the mountains I needed to trim down so that I could have in kind of an even spot of water mountains and now the outback. So to represent this part of Queensland, which is probably a fair majority of it, a lot of us do live on the coastline because it's hot here and most of the state I would say is not friendly to live in. So I'm using oranges and brown inks for this. Just to give an idea of how big Queensland is, it's two and a half times the size of Texas, roughly, but we only have a little under 5 million people living here, where I think I looked up Texas has like 28 million people. So that gives you an idea of just how much of this state is livable <laughs> and how much is not. So for this piece, I decided to decorate it with dinosaur footprints, which may sound a little weird, but it's actually to represent somewhere that I really hope to visit someday. Even though it's in the state, it is way up north where it's no doubt going to be incredibly hot. And it's where the world's only preserved dinosaur stampede exists. Apparently it is so incredibly well preserved, you can see where the predator would have come in and spooked all the little dinosaurs. There is a replica of it at the Queensland Museum, which is lucky because that's within driving distance to us, so we have seen the replica that a bunch of paleontologists mapped out that perfectly show all the footprints of these dinosaurs, but I would love to see the real one one day. Now on to colouring. I will chat to you about why I chose all of these elements, but I will also pop a little bit of music between them while I colour them in. It wouldn't be a Queensland card without a koala. I am very lucky where I grew up near a koala sanctuary, so I have seen lots of koalas in my time. They are adorable. Their babies are just the cutest. But to be honest, they're kind of boring because all they do is sleep.
So this one's a little strange. It's the big pineapple. It is on the Sunshine Coast and it is a 16 meter tall fiberglass pineapple. It is a tourist attraction. I don't know how popular it is these days. I can't even remember if I've actually physically been there, but it is one of those things that pops into my head when I think of Queensland icons. The starfish and the jellyfish represent a couple of things. Sea life on the Sunshine Coast is an amazing aquarium. We've been there for one of my little boy's birthdays as well. It is so much fun. The little jellyfish represents the world's smallest jellyfish that we have in far north Queensland, which is also incredibly deadly, just proof that everything is trying to kill us here. And they both represent the Great Barrier Reef as well. Onto something a little sweeter. This little kangaroo was outside my parents' house. My dad took this video. It was just chilling out in the morning sun, enjoying itself just a couple of meters from their back door. As cute as it is though, check out those claws. You do not want to be on the bad side of one of these little guys. Now this one's a little icky, our unofficial animal mascot for the state is a cane toad, thanks to Lawn Fawn, this little dude is actually very cute. Our cane toads are gross, they're disgusting, they're an introduced species that I don't think even did the job that they were meant to do, and they have just spread everywhere. I don't know why <laughs> they've become a mascot in this state, but here's a cute one. Now I absolutely had to have something crocodile related in this card because Queensland is the home of Australia Zoo which is the animal sanctuary that the Irwins run. It is an amazing place to visit. We actually went last year for my son's birthday. It is just ginormous. I hadn't been since I was a teenager and it seems to have grown since then. There are some amazing animals there. The crocodile shows are always fantastic. They're lots of fun. I don't know how much he got out of it being three, he does remember the birds. <laughs> but it was well worth it for Hubby and I and I'm glad we went before we had our daughter. Even though I was pregnant at the time and didn't realise just how much walking it was and how ginormous the park was going to be to get from one side to the other. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely worth the trip out there if you're visiting Queensland. Queensland has lots of theme parks on the Gold Coast so I thought I'd have to have a roller coaster in here. I did blow the budget this month with my craft. I ended up buying the Coaster Critters purely for this card and I got the Wild View ones for the Crocodile. These are stamp sets that I think I would eventually get anyway but I did go over budget a little bit this month. Totally worth it though because they had to be part of this project. So this big purple piece is for one of the roller coasters on the Gold Coast and this little piece of the roller coaster I'm actually using as a way of showing the Story Bridge which is in Brisbane City. These little dinosaurs are going in the orange part of my card. They're not only going to be there for the dinosaur bones that are in the outback but also for the giant dinosaurs that are outside the Queensland Museum. They have been there forever. I remember actually seeing them when I was very little and it's really funny now that I've grown up and had my own children and I've taken my son there and seeing him play on those big dinosaurs just like I did when I was little. I think it's one of those things that all Queensland or all Brisbane children know and recognise. There's something magical about Queensland strawberries. I reckon they are probably the best ever. They are so good. We've actually been strawberry picking. I'll show you a photo. That's my little one out in the fields picking heaps of strawberries that day. We came home with two punnets and I think half of them were maybe almost the size of my palm. They were so good. So I had to include them here somewhere because every year in August we have the Ecker, which is just a huge show to show off all the local farmers or all the Queensland farmers and all their produce and everything. It was cancelled this year, which is so devastating for everyone who takes part in that. 
one of the things that stands out about the Eka are these strawberry ice creams. It's got strawberry ice cream and fresh strawberries in it. They are delicious. And I think to keep everyone's spirits up a little bit, they found a way to bring these to a lot of shopping centers around Brisbane on like during the week that the Eka was meant to be on, which I think is lovely. They would have been missed by so many people. Around 152,000 of them are sold at the Eka every year. And I'm reading that 10 tons of fresh local strawberries are used for that, which is just so good for our local farmers. And I think a little known fact about these is that the profits from these ice creams actually goes to medical research at one of the hospitals in Brisbane. I kept things very simple for my Queensland sign. I just did two layers of letters, one pastel and one black to create a shadow. I have spoken for so much of this video, much more than what I usually do, probably more than what I do in an entire day. So I'm going to stop now and just let this play out with some music and show you how I put this whole scene together.
One final touch on this card is just a little bit of glue and some really sparkly glitter above the Story Bridge as the Brisbane Festival and River Fire were some of my favourite events when I was a child. And that is it. That is everything for this card. I'm so glad I gave it a bit more thought and decided that Queensland wasn't so boring and that we do have a lot of cool things to share. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more of my work. Thank you so much for your patience if you stuck around for the whole video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave you with some photos of the finished card. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.